Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for Dax Fridays and uh, we are going to talk about earlier, the function in Dax called earlier. Let's begin. So to explain earlier, we are going to use a very simple example just because the early function ca can be a little bit tricky. And I have chosen to do a cumulative total to explain the function. And the reason for that is I think that it becomes fairly quickly intuitive to, to understand how earlier works. It's not the intention of the video to explain how cumulative totals work. The example is too simple for that. And next Friday I will go through the cumulative totals. Uh, so Today we're just going to talk about earlier, so focus on that instead. So to explain what a cumulative total is, I am going to use Excel. So here we have the exact same data set that we had in Power BI. We have a, a list of items which have quantities, unit prices, and total sales and dates. Okay. And what we want to do is to calculate the cumulative totals for sales. And what that is, is actually very simple. What you do is you take for the 1st of January 2016, which is just the date, the sales is 90,000. Now we want to accumulate the sales as the days go by. So on the second row, the sales here will be the sales of you know the year the day before adding the sales for uh, to the today for the day that we are on and on the next row the cumulative sales will be the sales from the previous days so 180,000 plus the sales for this day and you do that all the way to the end. So at the end, you know that you have done right. If this one is the same as this one, which is not. Because that one is missing. Okay. So at the end of the day, you know if you've done right, if these two matches. Okay. So you are just accumulating sales. It's nothing else. And doing that in Excel, as you see, is very, very simple. You just go and add from previous days, right? From the row before together with the current row, and then you add it. Now, how do we do this in Power BI? It's not that easy. Let me show you. So here we are in Power BI. We have the exact same data set, but Power BI or Power Pivot works in columns, so you have no way to access the individual rows like you do in Excel. Well, you do, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the formula, and then uh, we will explain how it works. So we are going to do a calculated column, and here we write accumulated sales by date and we write calculate we have already a measure for the sum of total sales so we are going to use that and then we are going to use filter and we have to filter first the table as usual and then we have to we will use earlier for the date column and we will have bigger and equal than date. Okay, so as you can see, it's given us the exact same values. Uh, you have to note that 0101, the 1st of January, is the second row. That's why the 90,000 is there. Okay, so and the same with the 11,000. Otherwise, everything is uh, being calculated correctly. 
So to explain how earlier works, we're going to go back to Excel and do a demonstration. Okay, so now that we are in Excel, uh, let's go through the measure first. Uh, what we have here is uh, calculate. And the first thing that gets evaluated is always the filter part. So the filter would get evaluated against the condition, which is that the column date earlier is bigger or equal than the date. So we have to first understand what this does. And once we have the table, that table will be passed to the calculate that will calculate the total sales. So let's do this row by row. Okay, so we start from the first row. And the first thing that happens here is that earlier gets the current row in our column. In this case, is the 1st of January. What is going to happen next is that this value is going to get evaluated against the entire table. So the 1st of January 2016 will get evaluated against the entire date column. So this is the way it will work. The 1st of January, which is the earlier uh, function, the current row, when it is bigger or equal than the entire table, you will that will get passed through to the calculate the, um, function. So in this case, let's see what will happen. The first of January will get evaluated. Is this bigger or equal than the first of January for the entire table? And uh, the answer is yes. So the entire row will get pass to, to the filter. So these will get selected. This, the, the smaller. So th that was correct. Now is the 1st of January bigger or equal than the 2nd? And it's not, right? The 1st of January is not bigger than the 2nd of January. So nothing will get evaluated. The same with the third, the fourth, the fifth, and so on. So what it will get passed to filter is just this. And then calculate will say, okay, I wanna I need to calculate now the total sales for the table that you pass me filter and it's ninety thousand. So that means that here we will get ninety thousand. Okay, now let's do the second one. In we have evaluated that, so it's going to the next one and do exactly the same procedure. So we take away that and we do it all over again. So is the 2nd of January bigger or equal than the 1st of January? And the answer is yes. So these will get passed to calculate filter will give this to calculate. Now is the 2nd of January bigger or equal than the 2nd of January? Yes. So that one will also get passed to calculate. Is the 2nd of January bigger or equal than the 3rd of January? And well, the answer is no. And that is the same for the rest of the table. So only these two will get passed to calculate. Now, calculate will now take this and say, okay, now I have to do the sum of the sales. So you will go in there and I said, okay, I need to do the sum of these two. So it will be 180,000. Let's copy that again so it doesn't disappear. Okay, let's do this one more time. Delete that. And now we're going to take the next row, which is that one. So now is the 3rd of January bigger or equal than the 1st of January? Yes. 
so the 1st of January gets selected. Is the 3rd of January bigger or equal than the 2nd of January? Yes, it is. So this gets selected. Is the 3rd of January equal or bigger than the 3rd of January? Yes, it is. So that one gets passed too. Is the 3rd of January e bigger or equal than the 4th of January? And it's not. And that's the same for the rest of the table, so nothing else will get returned. And now filter said, okay, calculate. Now you have to do the sum of this. So calculate will start working and I say, okay, now I need to do the sum of the table that you gave me. And that is 196,000. Easy, right? So as you can see, I have another measure here which is exactly the same as the first one, but the earlier function has been uh, changed, right? So from being in the first position, I moved to the second side of the filter. And I think it would be great if you just post the video and try to think how this measure works and what the results will be. And then when you have the solution, you can uh, come back to the video and see if you uh, guess right, if you understood the, um, uh, how it actually works. So here we are back in Power BI. Let's write that. This has to be comma. And uh, let's see what happens and see if you guessed right. So as you can see, perhaps it's not that clear to see, but it's reversing the order, right? Why? Make sure, what I would recommend is if you go back to Excel, and I think it can be a, quite a nice uh, exercise to see if you understand how it works, just to try to do as I did, but with the reverse formula and see if you get the right results. If you have any issues, let me know and I can do a video just explaining how the reverse order works. But I think if you understand the, how this works, you should have no problem recreating that one. I just leave it as an exercise for you. So I hope this uh, helps clarify how earlier works and what it does. Uh, basically, every time you want to do calculations on the column itself, comparing things, then the earlier is, is the way to go. Um, you will have these files available for download, both the Power BI file and the Excel file. I think it would be it's great for, for you to do the exercise yourself and uh, to see if you get uh, the same results. So hopefully uh, this time it's clear how earlier is functioning. So this is all for today. If you liked the video, please let me know by liking it. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.